Electrical switchgear are classified into three main types. One, the high voltage switchgear, which we talked about in the previous video, medium voltage switchgear and the low voltage switchgear. In this video, we are going to talk about the medium voltage switchgear. So first let us understand where do we need the medium voltage switchgear. Here on your screen what you can see is the single line diagram of a typical power system. We have generation here, then there is a primary transmission happening, then there is a sub transmission. Here we would need the HV switchgear which we talked about in the previous video. I will provide a link for that down in the description. You can go and check it out after this video. And then after this uh, sub transmission zone there will be primary distribution happening uh, which can be at 36 kV, 11 kV or anything that is above 1 kV. And here we will need the medium voltage switchgear which we will talk about uh, in this video. So that is the basic single line diagram of a power system. By the way, I am working on a basic fundamental course on the power system. If you are interested, you can register your interest for that course. I'll provide link for that down in the description. Or if the course is already available, I'll provide link for that course down in the description. You can just go and check it out. So even if you don't belong to electrical engineering, that course is going to give you a lot of information. So definitely go and check it out. So medium voltage is anything between 1 kilo volts to 52 kilo volts. So any switchgear that is in between this range, you have to consider it as the medium voltage switchgear. Now in the medium voltage switchgear, the current rating can go up to 4000 ampere. And in some cases, it may also go to 5000 ampere, right? Just remember that. Now in the previous video, we talked about the high voltage switchgear. Now high voltage switchgear differs in many ways from the medium voltage switchgear, especially when we talk about the air insulated switchgear. Now in AIS, you can go and procure different materials from different manufacturer, meaning that you can procure circuit breaker from one manufacturer, uh, current transformer from another, disconnector from another and then install, right? That is possible in high voltage equipment. And also in high voltage equipment, since the voltage rating is very huge, you have to maintain a particular distance between the two equipment. Even a distance between the two phases you have to maintain. And with the increase in voltage, that distance increases, right? But when we talk about the medium voltage switchgear, uh, the things are a little different here. Medium voltage, first of all, uh, all the switchgears are factory assembled, meaning that everything will come in uh, like factory assembled, you don't have to do anything. It will come everything in one panel. I'll also uh, show you that here. So what you can see on your screen is a medium voltage panel. Now this is a completely factory assembled panel. So this will have everything. So this will have, uh, uh, you know, current transformer, voltage transformer. There will be a bus bar section. There will be circuit breaker and everything is installed in this particular panel. So definitely you cannot go and procure circuit breaker from one, ma one manufacturer, current transformer from another, voltage transformer from another. That is not possible. That option is not available. So everything comes as factory assembled and inside a panel that you can see on your screen. So it is a metal enclosed switch gear, right? Clear understood. And since the voltage rating compared to high voltage is very very less you can accommodate everything in this simple panel what you can see you don't have to maintain a very huge distance between the two equipment and this panels also don't need a uh, huge space like high voltage uh, switchgear and they are mostly installed inside a building in a small room now the concept of medium voltage is altogether different so what happens is in medium voltage there will be one dedicated panel for each feeder for example let's say there is incomer there will be one dedicated panel there there is outgoing there be there will be one dedicated panel for that let me quickly show you that here so let's say this is one panel that is dedicated for the incoming supply okay now this is the front view of the panel and in this panel there will be everything provided there will be circuit breaker there will be disconnector there will be ct vt uh, also protection relay and also the low voltage compartment will be provided inside this panel. So this dedicated panel is provided for the incomer, right? Similar way, there will be outgoing. So there will be a dedicated panel for outgoing. Plus there will be bus coupler. So we have a dedicated panel for bus coupler. Once the bus coupler is there, there will be bus riser as well, which will raise the bus bar. So that is a bus riser here. 
and then let's say if there is one more incomer we have a dedicated panel for that right so this is how the medium voltage switch gears are arranged and everything put together is what we call it as a switch board right understood this is how the medium voltage switch gears are arranged so this is completely different than what we saw in the high voltage switch gear now just like the AIS switch gear, these type of switch gear are also categorized based on the insulating medium used. So we have air insulated switch gear, we have gas insulated switch gear and we also have solid shielded insulating switch gear. Now this is a special type of switch gear in medium voltage which we will talk about in the end of this video. Now first let us talk and understand about the air insulated switch gear. So what you can see on your screen is the air insulated switch gear and as I said this medium voltage switch gear are completely factory assembled so everything will be provided inside this panel so you can see here we have voltage transformer we have current transformer there is a bus bar compartment also so of course horizontally there will be bus bar flowing through all the panels and that is this compartment here then we also have a cable compartment where the cable will enter or go out then there will be apparatus compartment where the circuit breaker will be placed and in medium voltage switch gear the uh, interruption technology that is most commonly used is vacuum right then we also have a low voltage compartment so everything that is that needs a control uh, that is provided here and there will be relays as well so everything is put inside this compact panel right now why it is called as AIS because if you see the insulation provided between each compartment is basically nothing but the air and that is the reason why it is called as the air insulated switch gear clear understood even the face to face distance uh, face to face insulation is provided by the air clear so that is the air insulated switch gear again this is uh, one of the commonly used switch gear technology in medium voltage as well just like the high voltage switch gear and we also have a GIS technology here in the medium voltage so what you can see on your screen is the example of a gas insulated switch gear for medium voltage so just like high voltage here also everything is insulated by some insulating gas like sf6 so even face to face uh, insulation is provided by sf6 gas and insulation between the two compartments are also provided by the sf6 gas and hence the name is gas insulated switch gear now since the dielectric property of SF6 gas is far better when we compare it with the air, uh, this type of panels gets very very compact when we compare it with the AIS. So just to give you one comparison, you can see up to 75% smaller than the AIS. So you can take, let's say this is 36 kV panel. So if this is the 36 kV panel for AIS, this would be the 36 kV panel for GIS. Almost up to 75% smaller than the AIS. So definitely it is very very compact but cost wise this will be expensive no doubt about that right so that is the GIS technology available in the medium voltage switch gear. Now there is one more special type of uh, uh, type of switch gear that is available in the medium voltage and that is shielded solid insulation switch gear or it is also called as 2SIS right now this type of technology you may not find very frequently this is now what is this basically so basically uh, we talked about the AIS where air is used as an insulation between the two phases and two equipment in GIS gas is used as an insulation here in shielded solid insulated switch gear a solid epoxy is used to insulate between the uh, in a two equipment and also within the phases so epoxy is used basically to cover everything so all your parts are covered by the epoxy so there are no live parts remain in this type of switch gear so you can say this is kind of a dead tank type designs where is nothing is at a life potential right so here you can see so this is a circuit breaker this white thing what you can see is the vacuum bottle so this is a vacuum circuit breaker and you can see here the insulation between these two phases is basically provided by the epoxy right so this is the solid shielded solid insulation insulating switch gear right understood so this type of technology you will not find frequently as i mentioned this is used where the atmosphere is very humid or it's very dusty 
or there is high level of pollution uh, that time this type of switch gear may be helpful right so that is the medium voltage switch gear types that we have so once after the primary distribution we go to the secondary distribution now here we need lv lv switch gears right so if you want me to make a dedicated video explaining the types of low voltage switch gear then comment lv switch gear in the comment section below if i get enough comments then i'll definitely make a video on that right so i hope you understood the different types of switch gear you have a brief idea about the types of switch gear we have in medium voltage if you found this video helpful do like the video and do share it with the people you think might be interested in knowing thank you so much for watching guys and do subscribe for more such easy to understand content thank you so much i'll see you in my next one but till then keep watching keep learning